Hello. Wilbur. Could you predict my future again? I'd be happy to. Um. He's in a trance again. Is it blue or red? Is it blue? Let's go to the next spin. Is it yellow or red? Is it red? Let's go to the next spin. Is it green or blue? What's wrong with me? I must have dozed off again. Oh, it, it doesn't matter. Could we play another round of the Wheel of Fortune? We can play two more rounds if you like, my little friend. Which colour do you want? It'll stop on blue. All right then. Off we go. Outstanding. You guessed right. You see, it isn't so difficult. So, on we go. Just two more correct guesses to win. Which colour do you want? It'll stop on yellow. All right then, off we go. Unbelievable! Two in a row. Do you know what that means? Not really. Does it have something to do with the space-time continuum? Not quite. It means that you are just one away from winning a pile of gold. Oh, the pressure. Which colour do you want? It'll stop on blue. All right then, off we go. Sadly, that was completely wrong. Do you want to try again? I don't think so. The chance of winning is much too small for me. As you, you are welcome. Hello. Wilbur, what can I do for you? Could you predict my future again, please? I'd be happy to. Um... He's in a trance again. Is it green or blue? Is it blue? Let's go to the next spin. Is it green or blue? Is it yellow? Let's go to the next spin. Is it yellow or red? What's wrong with me? I must have dozed off again. Oh, it, it doesn't matter. Could we play another round of the Wheel of Fortune? We can play two more rounds if...
Which color do you want? It'll stop on blue. All right then, off we go. Outstanding, you guessed right. You see, it isn't so difficult. So, on we go. Just two more correct guesses to win. Which color do you want? It'll stop on red. All right then, off we go. Unbelievable! Two in a row. Do you know what that means? Not really. Not quite. Oh, the pressure. Which colour do you want? It'll stop on green. All right then. Off we go. I... I don't believe it. The chances are... Roughly one in a million? Exactly. Perhaps you can see into the future, just like me. Certainly not as well as you do. Do I get my sack of gold now? But of course, you've won it. Oh, thanks ever so much. Master Marcus? Yes? What do I need to make myself a mage robe again? You need a length of magical fabric, a magical needle and thread, and you mentioned something about a cutting pattern. Right. I, I found a magic wand. Excellent. But like I said, you can't just use any old wand. You have to be... It shot a fountain of sparks. Really? Mm-hmm. That's unexpected. Congratulations. Thanks. I'll go and get what I need then. If you say so. Here we go. Ta-da! And Grandad always said handicrafts were only for girls. Master Marcus? Wilbur, what's that you're wearing? Looks good, doesn't it? If I didn't know any better, I'd say there's a little mage standing in front of me. What can I do for you? Ta-da! I've got a pile of gold for you, Master Marcus. Really? Amazing. Who did you mug then? I would never mug anyone. Real heroes just don't do that kind of thing. And that's what you want to be? A hero? Not an easy job that. But thanks for the gold. So, I've fulfilled the conditions for admission. I have the robes, the magic wand and a pile of gold. I have to admit, I didn't expect you to manage that. Well done. Thank you. And you're sure you want to risk all this gold? Of course. It's a very good investment. Well, if you say so. Now you're officially my mage apprentice. The only pupil, and the first in a long time, in Master Marcus's magical mage school. Wow. 
And... and what do I have to do to get my mage degree? You will have to accomplish three tasks that I will set you. I should have known. What do I have to do to become a mage? What kind of tests do I have to pass? Well, that's simple. Three examinations in any order successfully completed here in front of me and you receive your mage degree. In one, you have to brew a magical potion. Herbs, potions and tinctures are an important branch of magic. Another involves you coming into possession of a powerful magical artifact. It's important to own precious magical objects. It distinguishes us mages from the general population and they can be very useful. And, of course, you have to perform at least one spell. Whatever you like. Perhaps something with sheep? Well, that doesn't sound like a walk in the park. No, you can't have your gold back. I did warn you beforehand. I'll make it. Don't you worry. I'd like to brew that magic potion. How, how do I do that? In principle, it's just like cooking. You have to get hold of the ingredients and then mix them all together in that big cauldron over there. That's it? Yes, in principle, but a vegetable soup doesn't explode if you stir this in the wrong direction or add an ingredient a few seconds too late. <laughs> you can use all the ingredients here in the school, but you'll have to find some of them yourself. Which potion would you recommend for... for a beginner? No idea. I'd suggest one that's not potentially deadly. Maybe a healing potion or, or, or a mana potion? Oh, please, those aren't real magic potions. These days those things are bottled industrially in 159 litre barrels. No, it has to be something a bit more difficult than that. Have a look on the bookshelves. There are some recipe books there. What exactly do you mean by magical artifact and where can I get one? That's the whole point of the task. Magical artifacts are extremely rare. The more powerful they are, the more difficult it is to find them. And how powerful does it have to be? You can't really say exactly. You show me an artifact and I will evaluate it. You can only be absolutely certain if you find an extraordinarily powerful object. Legions of mages have been hunting for such objects for generations, and once you finally get hold of such an artifact, then you don't let it go. There's even a story that the famous mage Balthazar the Brittle took his most powerful artifact with him when he died, so that no other mage could get their hands on it. Took it with him when he died? How did he manage that? No one really knows for sure, but that mirror over there has something to do with it. It belonged to Balthazar, and somehow he managed to take his artifact with him to the other side. What kind of artifact is it? An amulet. You can see it in the old portraits. But nowadays, no one really knows what it's capable of. It's extraordinarily powerful. That much is certain. So powerful that I would be sure to pass the test were I to bring it? You can bet your life on that. Right. Then I'll get it. <laughs> Good luck. That's a ghost mirror. Only ghosts can pass through it. Hmm. Is there a simple way to become a ghost? You have to die. If you're interested in this subject, then you should stop by the Swamp of the Dead. There's someone living there who I'm sure can help you. The Swamp of the Dead? Hmm, yes. It's here on my map. 